Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. Uh, we're doing a training session here in the basement with Steven J. Wong. He trains elite athletes. He has a really nice setup with all the stuff from Hockey Shot. Uh, I'll let him tell you a little bit about himself. Awesome. Thank you for having me on your show, Jeremy. I've loved your channel, by the way. Thanks. That's where I got all my tips and tricks. Um, yes, as Jeremy said, I train a lot of pro athletes. Um, anything from UFC fighters to all sports, but a lot of hockey players, NHL players as well. And I have this hockey shot, synthetic ice, all the boards, the, the dashers, everything, all my training aids is from there. And that's how Jeremy and I hooked up because uh, we love their products. And we did some work outside, you'll see in some other videos, where we warmed Jeremy up and now, <laughs> he, he chuckles, and now we get an opportunity for him to really dangle and show us some skills and see how what we did outside and our activation exercises, how they apply to real life hockey. Because I use this, again, for a lot of pro hockey players where we do our training on here and then we take it and apply it directly on the ice and everyone sees the benefits. Instead of just having me down here by myself, uh, we invited Steven's son, James, good little hockey player. We're gonna do a bunch of drills with all the different hockey shot training products. So this one we got the dangler, using it as an obstacle. It represents a player's sticks, like a defenseman. You have to pass under the stick, but you also want to hit your target on the other side. So we have a pretty easy gap to uh, put the puck through, but we're going to shorten that gap as we go. Let's see how James can do it. Oh, no problem. Whoops. So in practice, we want to challenge ourselves. So we don't want to do really soft, easy, simple drills, right? We want to push ourselves. So we want to be doing fast, hard passes, pushing ourselves to get better. The easy way to challenge yourself in the drills is to try to do harder passes, faster passes. We can do saucer passes. We can change the distance of that gap. And we can also increase the speed of when we get the puck and release the puck. So instead of holding it, oh, saucer. So let's do a smooth pass. Let's see how quickly we can get the puck and give the puck back. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just gonna reduce the size of this gap here, give ourselves a bigger challenge. We have to put the puck right through there. We're also gonna saucer pass it over as well. Let's go. Oh yeah, nice. Toss over. <laughs> so let's do uh, one pass under and then sauce over. So we'll go under, under, over, over. Nice. A few quick tips for receiving a pass is to create a cushion. So if I want the pass, I don't want to have my stick back here because then there's no room for air. I want to meet the puck and then accept it. That gives me that room for air to cushion the puck. Second one is to make sure that you're cupping the puck when you catch it. You don't want your blade on an angle like that. So roll that top hand over and that gives you that cup and cushion. 